Hi, my name is Nareen Manjunath. I am a fourth year grad student in the physics department. And today's demonstration will be about the rotating chair and weights. There are just two things in this experiment, a rotating chair and a pair of dumbbell weights, which I will get to. Before we do the actual experiment, uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. So I sit on the chair. I'm going to take the weights. I'm going to be holding the weights like this. And then I push off and start rotating. Okay? So at some point, I'm just rotating. And at some point, I'm going to extend my arms. Right? And what I want you to think about is whether I'm going to start rotating faster or slower or with the same speed. Keep your answers in mind. So with the dumbbells placed very close to my uh, body, I'm going to start rotating. And now I extend my arms. And I draw them back in. I extend my arms again. And I draw them back in. So what you would have noticed is that when I held the dumbbells close to my arms and started rotating and then extended my arms outwards, the speed of my rotation decreased. So what is going on is that as I start rotating, I build up what is known as angular momentum. So angular momentum is a physical quantity that tells you, uh, that describes the way in which you are rotating. So it, it depends on two things. It depends on the angular speed of your rotation. That is how much of an angle you are covering in each second. And it also depends on the resistance that your body is offering to the rotation. This is known as the moment of inertia. And the moment of inertia depends on the position that your body makes as you're rotating. So an object that is rotating in this fashion with its arms spread outwards has a higher moment of inertia and it's harder to rotate such an object. As a result, I tend to rotate slower. So I tend to cover a smaller angle each second. On the other hand, when I draw my arms back in, I tend to rotate faster because my body is offering less resistance to the rotation. And the principle behind this is that the total angular momentum, that the total uh, amount of the physical quantity that's characterizing the way that I rotate is conserved. So if my moment of inertia increases, the angle that I cover each second will reduce and vice versa. So this experiment is based on the principle of angular momentum conservation. That's the end of the demo. Thank you for watching.